Hello and welcome to Euro Football Daily, where today we're picking out the best players who were churned out of the academy in Gelsenkirchen. 10. Ralf Fehrmann One of three players still at the minors on this list, Fehrmann had to leave the club as a 21-year-old in order to get first-team football, before returning to the side in 2011. After a couple of years at Eintracht Frankfurt, Fehrmann came back once Neuer left the club, more on him later, and found himself as second choice for Schalke, behind Timo Hildebrandt. The 6'5 keeper, however, was given a chance as the number one stopper once Hildebrandt got injured, and has kept his place in the side ever since. In 2015-16, Fehrmann kept 14 clean sheets in 43 matches, and Big Ralf has become one of many German keepers who are some of the best in the sport. 9. Leroy Sané Wonder Kid Leroy Sané was always destined to achieve something in sport, as his mother, Regina Weber, won bronze at the Olympics in gymnastics, and his father, Suleimane Sané, made over 50 appearances for Senegal. Sané's youth career was spent at Schalke, then by a Leverkusen, before heading back to Schalke, and he made his Bundesliga debut for the club in 2014. The flying winger came to life in 2015-16, though, as he made 33 league appearances, scoring 8 goals and getting 6 assists. His performances did not go unnoticed, and from the many elite clubs hovering around, Man City picked the German up for a potential £46 million. Though Pep seems to be slowly integrating him into the side, it won't be long before Sané and Sterling are causing havoc for Premier League fullbacks. 8. Max Meyer At just 21 years of age, it seems as if Max Meyer has been around forever. The man from Oberhausen had an incredible youth record for Schalke, winning the Under-19 German Championship in 2012 before scoring 11 times and getting 11 assists in 15 games the next season. The attacking midfielder's first taste of senior-level football came in 2013, making six appearances as an 18-year-old. He was actually part of the reason that Draxler left the club, as he was undroppable in that central role which Draxler craved. Perennially linked with a plethora of English sides, Max has stayed put in Schalke and has made over a century of league appearances for the club. But if the side continued to struggle in the Bundesliga, he might not be there for much longer. 7. Joel Matip Though he represents Cameroon, Joel Matip was born in Germany and was a youth for three years at VfL Bochum until Schalke scouted him at the age of nine and brought him to Gelsenkirchen. Despite being just 25 years old, Matip made 259 appearances for the club across seven seasons, and in his Bundesliga debut, he scored against Bayern Munich to level the match. In the summer of 2016, Matip's affiliation with Schalke came to an end as he joined Liverpool on a free transfer. The Klopp revolution is well underway at Anfield, as the Reds' gung-ho style has meant Matip has only been able to help keep a clean sheet once in his first nine games. This isn't to discredit the centre-half though, as many defenders would struggle in such an attacking style, and Matip is still getting plaudits for his performances. Six. Julian Draxler Wolfsburg's record-breaking signing, Draxler joined the Wolves in 2015 as a replacement for the outgoing Kevin De Bruyne. After spending a total of 14 years with Schalke, the club he joined as an 8-year-old. Since his youth, Draxler has been a fan of the club, regularly attending matches with his father. But after a few summers of transfer speculation and being linked with Arsenal and Juventus, Draxler departed the side he made 170 appearances for and went 350 kilometres east to Wolfsburg. Injuries have been a problem for the skillful winger throughout his career, and he was limited to just 23 league appearances in his debut season for his new club. Draxler is also currently injured as of November 2016, and with Wolfsburg sitting in 14th place, they need their talisman back now more than ever. 5. Benedikt Hervedes Quite possibly Germany's slowest ever World Cup winning left back, the natural centre half has been Schalke's captain since 2011 and has churned out over 300 appearances since his debut in the 07 08 season. The 6 foot 2 defender has quietly become one of the Bundesliga's most reliable defensive stalwarts, currently averaging more interceptions, more blocks, and more clearances a game than the world class Jerome Boateng while also matching his compatriot's pass completion percentage. If Schalke are to climb back up the table, then Hervedes will be a key man to steady the ship, and at 28 years of age, the possibility of winning a league title is starting to become slimmer and slimmer. 
for Jens Lehmann. Invincible Jens Lehmann was bought by Arsenal from Borussia Dortmund, but the keeper was actually a product from Revere Derby rival Schalke, a club he spent a decade at. During the 10 years he spent at Schalke, two of them were in the Zweiten Bundesliga, and he made nearly 300 appearances for the club before getting his big move to Italian giants Milan, a move which was very unsuccessful. After five games, he moved to Dortmund. Even though he was a Bundesliga winner for BVB, Lehmann became an unreliable stopper towards the end of his stint at the Westfalenstadion, with Weidenfeller replacing him and Arsenal taking a gamble on Mad Jens. It proved to be a fruitful move for both parties, as he was part of the Gunners side that went unbeaten, though his unreliable nature came back to haunt him in the Champions League final, where he was sent off after just 18 minutes. 3. Fritz Zepan Gelsenkirchen native Fritz Zepan was born in 1907, just three years after Schalke was formed, and went on to represent the club for 25 years. A technically gifted player, Zepan was not fast, but was renowned for his positioning and anticipation, making him adept in midfield, defence and even up front. Six of Schalke's seven league titles to date came with Zepan in the team, and he also captained Germany at two World Cups making 34 international appearances. A one-club man, he netted an incredible 234 goals in 342 games for the Königsblauen, and Schalke was a family business, as he and teammate Ernst Kuzora married each other's sisters. He coached the side after retirement and was club president for a spell in the 1960s. He died in 1974 after seeing West Germany win their second World Cup, with two Schalke players in the squad. 2. Mesut Ozil Arsenal's chief creator was born and bred in Gelsenkirchen, crafting his technical ability as a youngster in the monkey cages, where he played every day regardless of the weather. Eventually being picked up by Schalke's academy from Rottweiss Essen, the playmaker only played 39 times for the Royal Blues, scoring once in the German Cup before making his way to Werder Bremen for a mere 5 million euros. Stellar showings in the 2009 Under-21 Euros and the 2010 Senior World Cup saw his stock rise dramatically, and Los Blancos' Real Madrid brought the German to the Bernabeu for 15 million euros. Mesut won the league at Madrid before being eased out of Ancelotti's side to fit in Gareth Bale, and he joined Arsenal for a club record £42.5 million in 2013. And with Ozil providing 19 assists in the league last year, most Gooners would label him a bargain. One. Manuel Neuer. Arguably the best goalkeeper for the last five years, Schalke fans must wonder how much the club's fortunes would have changed if they'd managed to keep their captain from joining Bayern Munich. Neuer was a die-hard Schalke fan, standing on the Nordkurve when he was young and fulfilled every child's dream of not only making it as a pro footballer, but captaining his boyhood club. Unfortunately, the stopper pretty much pissed off every Schalke fan when he got his big money move to Bavaria. It's been well documented that Bayern fans weren't happy with the move either, giving Neuer a list of rules he had to abide by while playing for the club. After a meeting with several fan groups, they managed to defuse tensions, and Manuel has gone on to win four Bundesligas, three German Cups, a Champions League, and a World Cup since his move, surely making him Schalke's most successful graduate. So those were our top 10 Schalke Academy graduates, but who did we miss out and who would you have included? Let us know in the comments below. Now, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to check out more of our festive goodies playing on screen right now. And as ever, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Merry Christmas. <laughs>